Yo, welcome back to Dot TV. It's your girl Elda, and we don't cast last last. Now everybody go to our breakfast. Shayo. TV. If this is your first time tuning in, I welcome you with love, hugs, and kisses. Mwah. But in order for you to be my cousin, I need you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. You already know. And those of you that's been rocking with your girl, what's up, cousin? What's up for me? You already know. Shaggy, bam, 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 bam. But you know how we get down. We be like, welcome back. Back, hey, back, back, hey. So you already know it's been a minute since I have done a sit down with you guys. It's been a minute since I have done the intro, right? But we are back, we are back, we are back, we are back, 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 hey, back, back. Okay, so turn up, right? So you guys, I am excited to sit down and talk with you guys, get you caught up. On some things right and I just want to share my mind with you um, because I know that I cannot be the only person that is going through this okay and cousin how you supposed to be my cousin and you not holding me accountable well I'm not gonna say all of you some of you wait y'all ain't even holding me accountable bro like shout out to the ones that do reach out when they realize that, you know, they don't see no posts or nothing. You know, they message, you know, they slide in the end. Like, what's up? You know? But now, all jokes aside, you guys, um, as you can see by the title, um, it does have my multiple titles because there's like so much I do want to talk about, but I don't want to make this such a long video, right? Um, but I want you to my main message that I had to not only grasp for myself, but I pray that you grasp as well is take heed, right? We have to take heed, especially when God is trying to show us um, something or when God is trying to speak, um, especially to reveal or to prevent or to prepare, right? So um, let me look up the definition real quick for you. Pay attention to, take notice of, right? So, um, I was having a moment, right? And I was just like, really just reflecting on everything that I have been through, the transition that I'm going through, um, you know, also trying to come up with strategy, um, placement, you know, do what I need to do um, until the return of my husband, right and in the process in the process in 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 somewhere i lost i lost elder right i lost myself right so y'all heard me say last video you know we finna get it together you know i've been pushing but not not in the form that i know that i can go right um not pushing and then i end up falling deeper into depression right i i end up falling deeper into depression but in in the midst of reflecting and you know coming back and paying attention um and focusing on me right because i'm in a season where i'm putting me first right we can't get mad when other people do what they need to do for them and we're not doing what we need to do for us ourselves because we're too busy putting other people before us. And one of the things that I teach, one of the things that I coach is that, listen, in order for anything to, to get the best of you, you have to put yourself first. You have to take care of self, right? And I wasn't taking care of self. I was taking care of everything else and I was letting self go and I was just slipping away, right? So in the midst of reflecting, um, you know, I started to realize, uh, anybody that knows me know I love driving. But lately, I'll be driving and I'm just so sleepy. Lately, I've just been so tired. 
Um, and we know that emotions are carried throughout our muscles, our bones and stuff like that. We also know, you know, cause we know that the, this, the war is not flesh, but it's spiritual, right? Um, even with the weight that we have on ourselves, I strongly do believe that it is more spiritual than it is physical, right? Um, because you know, the spirit of heaviness, right? The spirit of oppression, then you have, you know, anxiety, depression. You have all these things that play a factor. So um, I begin to research, you know, I don't want to say I begin to research. I just begin to pay more attention. But a, about a week ago, yeah, about a week ago, two weeks ago, I had at least, I had at least five other women just randomly open up to me about fibroids right um some of them took a call to action they got the fibroids removed some of them are going the holistic way um but it just kind of scared me why did it scare me you know i'm gonna be real with y'all um when i was pregnant with my daughter i had a fibroid that was 10 centimeters that one fibroid by itself was 10 centimeters and it was blocking the path the path that my daughter would need to come through and they said if that fibroid did not move right that i would have to do a c-section or have to get a c-section and your girl was not having that all right let me tell you something baby i got that oil thank god for a praying church right the church that i was um, attending at the time I got that oil and every night I would just rub my belly and I would be in straight Holy Ghost fire just straight tongues and I was decreeing and declaring that the fibroid move right so the fibroid end up shifting um, which was a clear pathway for my daughter to come through but however it caused my daughter to use it as a pillow so when she came out um, you know, she was, her head was like leaning to a specific side, um, because of the fibroid, because how big the fiber was, it was basically a pillow for her or whatnot. And it did cause a lot of pain, right? So, um, she had to get therapy. Everything is aligned by the grace of God. So, but I never dealt with that fibroid, never dealt with it, never dealt with it. So now I'm at a place where I'm wanting to take better care of myself, where I'm being intentional, not only about, you know, my mental state, not only about my spiritual state, but also my physical state. Right. So now it's just like, I don't, I don't find it weird that, you know, these, these sisters of mine, right. Um, these sisters of faith of mine, uh, opened up to me about it. And this is why I say, take heed. Um, because I, I strongly do believe that God is urging me, is pushing me to know, to, to get a look at it, you know, because um, there is surgery. There is, I just seen something, y'all. Remind me to call this cousin and tell her about herself, okay? Um, I do strongly believe that God is pushing me to you know, take care of these things because it also may play a factor um, in my weight, right? It plays a factor when I begin to look deeper into the fibroids um, uh, and some of, some of its symptoms, not only does it, it can either cause heavy bleeding or it can cause your cycle not to come at all, where you just don't have a menstrual, right? Because even my other friend opened up about her testimony about when she had a fibroid and tumor to the point she had no, no menstrual. Okay. Um, and the Lord did a miracle for her and now she has three beautiful, three beautiful children. Um, so, but when you look at the symptoms of the fibroid, right? One of it is fatigue. So I'm like, is that why I'm tired? Because I'm getting enough sleep right i know i do get enough sleep you know i like i said i start like cardio you feel what i'm saying so i'm getting back in a groove but i find myself to be tired now i know depression plays um fatigue comes with depression as well 
So I was just like, y'all, I'm in the fight for my life right now, kid. Like, it is a fight for real. We wrestle not against flesh and blood. So I don't know what God may be saying to you in this season or what what God or what heaven is trying to highlight for you to take heed of. But I just pray that you be so emotionally balanced, right? That you be so emotionally sober, that you're able to be attentive, that you're able to hear and that you're able to see so that you can take heed of whatever it is that God is trying to show you, whether he's trying to give you instructions on to prepare or, you know, um, to warn you, whatever it is. Is I just pray that you are emotionally sober, right? And that you are no longer naive to the devices of the enemy so that you can go ahead and do what it is that you need to do, all right? Because am I nervous? Yes, the heck I am because you don't know what you're getting ready to encounter, right? And then I'm trying not to get emotional because I also feel like the fibroids played up definitely I believe like I strongly believe that it played a role in my miscarry last year right so take heed because we don't want to be in a place where we are praying for certain things or we're asking God to release things right or to give us things and we're not even preparing for it we're not even preparing for it right so um, this is why a lot of things also don't come into fruition because of lack of preparation. So I'm definitely going to take you guys on this journey. I'm getting ready to switch things up a little bit. Um, I'm pushing for more, you know, uh, when it comes to the content, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm stepping my game up because y'all already know. Um, we are on the road to a thousand subscribers. Watch time, we're doing good, but we need those thousand subscribers, right? But anyways, um, and I just want to continue to be transparent, continue to be vulnerable so that I can encourage you, so that I can inspire you. Because one of the misconceptions that we have in the body that because I'm a, um, a woman of faith or a preacher or a pastor, prophet, a minister, you know, praise you Jesus, you know, that we're exempt from things. No, we're not. We go through just like anybody else. All right. We are not exempt. I feel like if not, it, I, I feel like we go through it more because um, how the enemy desires to keep us in a, you know, demonic or satanic cycle where we don't reach or where our potential doesn't come into uh, fruition or where our potentials doesn't manifest because the enemy does not want you to tap into who you really are and the powers that you do possess and how dope you are, right? Because that's a whole nother message for itself. I feel like I was getting ready to start preaching again, y'all. But um, so with that being said, um, take heed to, you know, um, whatever God it or God is highlighting to you in this season that thing that just keep coming up like why does it keep coming up um it keeps coming up because it's time to address it right it's time to address it or it's time to open the door it's time to deal with it we cannot continue to sweep it under a rug we can't we can't we can't we can't we can't we can't I know I can't so you can't either because we cannot afford to miss it anymore we cannot afford to miss out anymore because we have lost too much throughout the process right so now it's time to prepare it's time to address it it's time to open up that door it's time to attack whatever it is that god has been highlighting so that you can go into that season of straight gain all right but I pray that this has blessed you. Um, I pray that it encourages you. Continue to keep me lifted as I keep you lifted. And if you guys are not following me on Instagram, be sure to do so. Okay? Be sure to do so. Um, you know, we have Chamber of Prayers every Tuesday nights. Y'all can subscribe. The website, you guys, my website, it is live. It is live. It is www.theoneelda.com dot com um make sure y'all subscribe to the email newsletter so drop y'all emails 
okay because when I say like we is not shutting down anymore when I say that we are not playing anymore when I tell you cousin believe me believe me all right so but stay tuned all right I'm also going to take you guys on a day with me where I will be also coming back um self-care day um hair done nails did massage um wax like we're gonna get ourselves together because your girl like i said your girl has let herself go your girl has let herself go but i love y'all be blessed be encouraged and remember you have victory on every song yeah.